Guys, here's five things I wish I knew before I started my fitness journey. Number one, creatine is a good thing. I used to think that creatine tighten you up, dehydrated you, which it can if you let it, but there's actually there's not a lot of evidence saying that you get more injuries while taking creatine. So I feel I should have been a little more educated and a little bit more open to the idea of taking creatine. So that was a mistake on my end and uh, I'm just gonna do better in the, in the future with that. But luckily we are taking it now and we are still seeing some beneficial results from it. Number two, this is a recent one. I really do wish that I started taking greens earlier on, like prebiotic greens or any sort of greens in the morning. I thought it was not necessary, but the days I felt like lethargic or slower, and now when I, I feel like I take greens and I feel a lot better, in my mind, I was like, oh, I don't need greens probably. This is just an, an off day. When in reality, I just had nutrient deficiencies from my diet, so I wish I knew sooner that greens were a definite advantage in my fitness journey. Number three, you don't have to go to the gym for three hours a day. This is something recent I have actually been having issues with because I would go to the gym, you know, I work out for an hour, hour, 20 minutes, do my cardio for 30 minutes, then try and film content at the gym. I, at times I'd be up for just three hours when, I, when I'd be there, two and a half, three hours. And I realized I was too long, I was there for too long. So what I ended up doing was I tried to bash my content and I try and really hone my skills and hone my focus in a one hour span of workout and I try to get my content done within 20 minutes and I, I either do my cardio separate but reality is that you do not need to do gym sessions for three hours you can get you can see great results in 45 minutes you can see great results in freaking freaking half hour it just depends on how hard you go and how your focus is and if you're going if you're working out for two hours dude your focus is obviously not on point number four Going to the gym every day is not a good thing. Now, you can go to the gym and on your off days you can walk, you can run, whatever you want to do. On your off days, running, even on your off days is a little skeptical, but all I would say is that if you go to the gym every single day, how do you recover? How do you have find time to recover your mind and your body, guys? You need to recover in order to see a long-term progress. If you don't, you're just gonna keep breaking down your body and be more susceptible to injuries tinnitus, tears, whatever it may be, guys, you need to recover it well and allow your muscles to grow well in order to see results. Number five, and this is something I kind of knew but didn't know at the same time, it's a little weird, but cardio is a good thing. I sometimes get into the habit of not doing cardio because I feel like, oh, I'm getting cardio from my you know, from whatever I'm doing that day. But in reality, we need some sort of cardio, whether it's twice a week to keep our health, health, heart healthy and to avoid diseases, guys. This is important, we need, we need cardio in order to sustain a healthy life and to sustain our lives. So, that being said, cardio is a good thing and it can even help you burn fat and it will help you burn fat. So, guys, that's all I got. That is five things I wish I learned during my fitness journey. If y'all did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you left a like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you guys enjoy the main content of this video and want to see more videos just like this, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video.